Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be covering how you can hide menu items from the Firefox contextual menus. So if I come across to YouTube, I'll show you what I mean. If I click on a link here, um, you'll see we have all these menu items. You know, open link in new tab, new window, private window, bookmark link, save link, search, DuckDuckGo, inspect access, accessibility properties. and if we click on the actual web page here, what we get is all this stuff like, you know, save page as, select, take screenshot, view page source, all these icons. And if I actually click on a, um, right click on a YouTube video here, you can see the amount of um, links um, in the contextual menu that we've got. You know, everything from opening in new tabs, private windows, bookmarking, saving links, um, all this stuff email image inspect access accessibility properties and it's just too much we don't need all that stuff all that stuff so we can actually hide that using css so in this article on um, userchrome.org basically it explains how you can go through and hide particular um, menu items and this, this example it's how you can remove items from the image context uh, menu and basically what you can do, um, first of all, to do this, you actually need to set up um, a user Chrome um, CSS file. So first step is you actually need to um, find out where your Firefox profile is. And you can do that by clicking this and more troubleshooting information. So more tools, uh, was it help? more troubleshooting information and this is going to show you the actual path to your profile um, directory and then in that directory what you need to do is um, create a couple of files um, and a folder so what you actually have to do to get this to work is you create a user.js file and a chrome folder and those are going to be placed in the um, Firefox um, profile directory and once we've done that uh, we can add rules to actually um, hide stuff from this contextual menu and the way you do that is um, what you have to do is you paste this address into Firefox and this is going to show you the sort of layout of um, Firefox and all the menu items and stuff so if I come back here um, what you'll see is um, there are CSS rules, <coughs> excuse me, um, for different uh, menu items like send image would be for email. So, for example, if we search um, in this page here, you can see context context dash send image. Okay, so that's um, that's one of the menu items. So basically, what we have to do is actually go through um, so for example here you can see when I click on a link I'm getting all these items open link a new tab new window private window bookmark link etc etc so what we need to do is actually go through and search for these strings in that file and that's going to actually give us um, the CSS ID which we can then hide uh, and what that's going to do is it will hide the menu item so basically what i've done is gone through and um, searched for all the different menu items that you get so all these different items here and i've hidden the ones that i don't want and put them in um, a css block of code in my uh, firefox um, chrome directory so what i'm going to do is actually switch across um, here and re-add this code and i'm going to quit firefox and I'm just going to come across here and make that a bit bigger so you can see it. So what these are is all the, um, these are the CSS classes for all the um, menu items in Firefox. So we've got send image, so we've got email, bookmark link, save link, copy image, take screenshot, open link in new tab, in new window. And most of these actually have keyboard shortcuts, otherwise I wouldn't be removing them. So, you know, you can 
control click on a link and it will open in a new tab you can shift click a link and it will open a new window so you don't need all that stuff so those are all the um menu items so what i'm going to do is actually open up firefox and um, show you how that looks now so i'll open up youtube okay just give it a second and what i'm going to do is i'll click i'll right click on a link um the um youtube video and the uh, page background so if i right click on the link here that's it copy link inspect and block element so you can see i've removed practically everything um from the uh, menu there because i said i can uh, control click and have that open in a new tab um, i could uh, shift click have that open in a new window you know you could open you you know you can copy the url and paste it into a private window so that's um the link menu only three items and if you this is um only if this is only going to appear if you have uh, ublock origin installed which of course you should do um so now if i right click on the uh, youtube video you can see how much shorter the menu is we just got copy link open image in new tab save image as copy image link inspect and block element so you can see the difference between this menu and um, the previous version um, and what i'll do is um i'll uncomment that I'll, I'll remove that code and switch back so um you can compare the um the amount of items in the menu and if i right click on the actual um web page you can see all i've got is inspect and block element because you know we can press Control u uh do the page source you could press Control s to um, save the page of course another entry was select all which would just be Control a to select all um, so we don't need all that stuff in the menu um, all i want is to be able to inspect all part of the web page and block a particular element on the web page that's all i want uh, so as i said we've only got three items here for the link one, two, three, four, five, six items here, and two items here. So what I'll do is just um, come back and um, remove that code and switch back Firefox and show you the page um, where the menu was without any alterations. So clicking on a, um, a link here, see how many items we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And chances are you're hardly going to use, um, you're probably not going to use many of these, you know, um, because you can use the keyboard shortcut. And if I click uh, here, you can see how many items we've got on the menu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And if I click on the page, um, First of all, you know, uh, you'll notice that I've removed this section here, the back and the forward arrows, because, you know, we've got back and forward arrows there. We can reload the page and we can use the keyboard shortcut or press that and um, bookmark the page. We could just use the keyboard shortcut. So we'll have all this stuff in the menu. Um, and again, save page as we could just do control S, we could do control A. Um, to select all, um, I don't use the take um, screenshot, um, so I'll remove that. Uh, view page source, we can just do Control U. Um, uh, I'm not going to use inspect accessibility properties uh, because you know I could just do inspect and um, go to that tab in the inspector if I wanted to. So you can see we've cleaned this up so that there are only actually two items in the um, the modified version so i'll just quit firefox again come back re-add that and um, go back to that page and then just briefly give you a an overview of the um the setup so just switching back to this so you can see how it looks how much clean is that three links there um one two three four five six um got six um, was it third over 10 before um so copy link open link open image in new tab save image as copy image link and then the, the background here we've removed all those um 
back and forward icons, the bookmark, um, and all the other stuff we didn't want, you know, select all, save page as, view page source. So we've just got inspect and block element. So it's much cleaner. So what I'm going to do is just come across to um, its user chrome.org and Um, this was the article hide unwanted menu items and it said basically what you need to do is you come across into this page and what I'll do is I'll just bring up uh, my notes Success at that. So, okay, so um, this is a Git repository I created with all the code I've just shown you. So, first of all, what we have to do <clears throat> is uh, in your Mozilla directory, you'll see a um, directory called Firefox, and what you're looking for is something that says default release. You'll um, you'll be able to find your profile. Um, folder um, from within Firefox as I showed you earlier and um, in that directory what we did was we created the Chrome directory <coughs> with the um, user um, chrome.css and the user content.css um, files and you also need this user.js file and basically you put those in the in that particular directory and restart Firefox and it will take effect. And in the user.js file, what we have is, um, this is basically the same as um, running about config in Firefox. When you run about config, you know, about config, uh, you can change um, options in Firefox. When you do that, they're saved in a prefs.js file um, within the Firefox profile directory. Um, so you can actually enable legacy style sheet. So legacy, you'll see here, this is how you enable um, legacy style sheets. And um, you can do it by, you know, running about config and enabling it here. But um, it's actually better to create this user.js file. And then you add the bit of code here. User pref. And it basically does the same thing. Um, but it just means you're setting the um, the configuration in, a, in your own file, so it's easier to um, to manage. So you add the user.js file and um, the oh, user Chrome and user content. So user content is for styling web pages. Um, user Chrome is for styling Firefox. And you'll see here down at the bottom. Um, this is um, the bunch of code that I've used to actually remove all the menu items from Firefox. So basically you add all that in and um, basically restart Firefox and it will uh, it will take effect. So that's how you um, do that. And I think I've made some notes. Um, Firefox, Firefox, Firefox. Menu, where's the... Our menu system yeah so this is a, basically um, a note um, of how you do this um, there's a link to use Chrome and so what you do is you basically open that link in your browser and as I showed you you can then search for um, the different menu items and they'll be like context um, let me just shift back here so you can see here like save page, view source, back forward, the back forward, reload, bookmark page were the um, items that came up um, in this menu when I right clicked on a web page. So you can see um, I might want to remove some of these. View selection source, I don't know if I need those. Um, but those are all the items like send image, bookmark link. Um, save page so basically you just come through and you have to um search for the menu item like you know save page 
So you'll see here, say page or um, reload um, back uh, forward. Um, for all these different items like, okay, so like take screenshot, um, open link, open link in private window, open link in tab. Those are the things you get here, like open, you'd normally get open link in new tab, new window, new private window. And so basically these three here suppress that, they hide that open link in new tab, new window. So that's all you need to do. And um, basically it will just clean up um, your menus in Firefox so you don't have quite so much stuff um, going on. And um, all you need to do is actually um, sort of right click on something and see the items that would normally come up and then basically search for them in this file. And then basically all you need to do is add them to your user chrome.css file, which you would, but again, you would store in your um, Mozilla Firefox um, profile directory and then it'd be slash chrome and we'd have user chrome.css and then you'd have user content.css for styling web pages um so that's basically how you can go through um this file find the menu items and then basically hide them by sort of following the gist of this article and um, it just makes things a bit easier to use a bit cleaner um I've just got copy link there, inspect block element, um, because I said, you know, I can use keyboard shortcuts for all the things that would appear in the menu, so I don't need them to appear twice. Um, so here, for example, if I click on an image, open image in new tab, save image as, copy image link, inspect and block element. Um, so that's how you can clean up the Firefox menus um, using user content.css um, in a couple of steps, and um, how you can go through and identify the um, different menu items um, in this file by searching for their names as they appear um, when you right click on a page. Um, so you can see here, these are other things, you know, that you could actually move. So like, for instance, if I want to search for a print selection, if I wanted to basically um, remove some of this, say cell would have removed print selection, I could do uh, print. Okay, so you can see I found that already. So context, print selection, and basically all I'd need to do is um, add that to this list here. So this is a list of all the CSS selectors. So you can see the CSS selector followed by a comma, and then a comment saying what it is. And as you see, the last item here doesn't have a comma. And then what we do is display none in um, exclamation mark um, important and that basically overrides stuff so as I said we want to you know remove some of this um, stuff um, you've got syntax highlighting um, you know we had that context print selection um, I think maybe it's because I've got that up it's not showing up I don't know why it's refresh no, I don't know why it's not, not showing up now or maybe it was in this one another one. Oh yeah here here it is print selection or view selection source so if I come um do context um view and you can see view source go to URL view source wrap long lines view source highlight syntax um context view context view image so you can go through and find um all of the stuff and tweak it and basically um, hide it using CSS rules. So that's how you can uh, clean up Firefox a bit um, using your user content.css file. And I say, you just need to um, find your profile directory, um, add the user.js file, the Chrome directory with the user content um, and the user Chrome. And basically right click on stuff, find the, um, the name of the thing you're looking for, come through this page, find the ID, put it in the file and hide it. Um, restart Firefox and that's it. So that's how you can um, clean up the Firefox menus um, in a couple of steps.